So, you're a beginner, or maybe you're not a beginner. Maybe you are just some person that's played Minecraft for quite a while, but doesn't know what they're doing. Well, anyway, welcome. You've come to the right place. In this series, I'm going to be showing you the basics of how to do everything in Minecraft. Maybe not everything, but how to make a house, as you can see behind me. How to make iron armor, how to make shields, how to make swords, how to make axes, pickaxes, how to get diamonds. Well, not in this video, but eventually diamonds and how to get much much more so if you want to know how to do this well stick around because it's going to be a cool series the best minecraft tutorial so let's get into it so obviously step one to creating a brand new minecraft survival world is to well create the world so if you want to know how to do that you'd click single player create new world and here we are this is the create new world screen it can be very scary if you don't know what you're doing, but it's pretty simple, trust me. First off, we're going to change the world name. I'm going to set it because we are doing the best Minecraft tutorial. I'm going to make it the best, all in capitals, Minecraft tutorial. Look at that speed typing. It's probably really slow. Anyway, now, game mode. Uh, obviously, because we are making a tutorial and it's going to be in survival mode, we are going to go with survival, but if you were really pro, I would choose hardcore. And the difference between survival and hardcore means that you only have one life. Not one heart, but one life. Once you die, you can't play on that world anymore. You can, but only in survival mode. And really, it just ruins it because you played in hardcore and now in survival mode. So, as you can see, it's the same as survival mode, locked at hardest difficulty and one life only. So if you are looking for a challenge, I would choose hardcore. And obviously, you probably already know, there's creative mode that lets you fly unlimited resources and destroying blocks instantly. That's only if you want to build a house. But for our case, I want to do survival mode. We're not going to do hardcore because I will probably die in this tutorial at some point. And now let's move on to difficulty. Now normally it's set to normal, but for our case, I'm actually gonna set it to hard mode, mainly because, well, it's more of a challenge for me and depending, even if you try to copy this, it'll be either the same or easier for you. But if you don't wanna go for hard mode, you could go for peaceful, but you can't really beat the game if you're on peaceful because how are you supposed to get blaze rods? I don't know. You, the end, I'm pretty sure the Ender Dragon still does spawn peaceful mode, but why would you even play in this unless you're on a creative world? Then easy. Easy is something you should go for if you're a beginner and you're just trying to figure out how to play the game. Normal is the normal one. Most people would probably play on this, but yeah, just like I said before, we are going to be playing on hard mode. Now, allow cheats. This is pretty straightforward. Basically, it lets you use commands, and if you use commands, well, you're kind of hacking not really hacking, but cheating in the game. So we are not going to be cheating. We are going to be playing this fully vanilla. And if you don't know what that means, it just means like fully basic, fully legitimately. And it's not any cheating hacks, nothing. Data packs. Now, this is a tricky one because there's a lot of da data packs that people make online. And you can download them, but some of them, they're like basically like mods. But you can still use them in the vanilla version of Minecraft. And... I'm not going to be using any data packs for this tutorial, mainly because, well, it kind of breaks the whole vanilla part of Minecraft, which we are trying to keep. So, I'm just going to leave data packs, you can put in whatever you want. Game rules, there's a lot of new things here. This was all added in, like, the newest updates. But, uh, I'm not going to play with any of this either, because, you guessed it, we're trying to keep this as vanilla as possible. There's more world options, this is generate structures, so villages, dungeons, etc. So all those like things that aren't just land. Then there's world type. We're not going to play with this because obviously if we like if it's a super flat world, there's like no way we could beat the game. There's no stronghold. Then there's large biomes. That's also cool. We should play with that one day. This amplified and it says just for fun requires a beefy computer. I've got a pretty beefy computer, but still we're not going to be playing on amplified worlds as this will make it like 10 times harder. And single biome, this is a cool one to play with if you're like trying to do a challenge. And then there's caves, that's cool too. Floating islands and just default. We're going to be playing with default. Then bonus chest. Don't play with bonus chest, that's like, come on. 
what's in the bonus chest, like a couple stone, a pickaxe, torches. Just don't, don't use it. Don't be a loser. And then this import settings, which that basically lets you put in all the settings here for every single tab here. And uh, if you want to like, copy someone's world, then obviously you would import settings. But that's basically it. Now let's click the create new world button. And now we wait. Hopefully we don't have to repeat this process because I want to be able to just play in the world straight up. But hopefully we don't spawn like some really bad place like an island or just some random place with nothing but this looks all right actually okay as you can see i'm using optifine in the bottom if you don't know what optifine is i am saying this is gonna be vanilla but optifine really it's not like gonna help me cheat or whatever it's really just for like graphics and it boosts your performance i'll probably leave it in the description below and if i don't well just search up optifine.net just get it from there and yeah, it's pretty good. It lets you have a lot more settings and even lets you have shaders and you can also zoom. But anyway, let's get started. So usually the first thing you do once you get into the game is, well, you punch a tree. That's really how you get all your materials. Now obviously you could find some other type of monument or structure such as a village or maybe abandoned nether portal. But really, breaking a tree is usually the best thing to do. Now, I definitely mined way too much of the tree, but you probably didn't need to have to do that. But as you can see, I've got 24 planks. Let's just quickly make a crafting table. Now, if you don't know what a crafting table does, it literally is the number one most needed thing for the entire game. The entire game is inside this block. Anyway, make yourself a crafting table. You will need it. A lot now let's make a pickaxe now if you don't know what a pickaxe is let's just quickly make one let's get some sticks we need those then you can put them down and put down your other three wood that you'll need at the top and as you can see we've got a wooden pickaxe now so now we need to find some stone I'm just gonna leave that crafting table there because we'll probably come back to it but as you can see we got some stone over here and you know what I think we only need a couple like Maybe let's get six. One, two, three, four, five, six. As you can see, and then we can pick it up. As you walk on it, it will get picked up automatically. And as you can see, we got cobblestone instead of stone. Now, don't think this is some kind of glitch, because it's not. This is literally how the game works. If you want normal stone, you'll either have to get a silk touch pick, which is an enchantment, which we will go over in a later episode. But anyway, if you didn't want to use a silk touch pick, you would have to smelt this cobblestone in a furnace. As you can see, there's a lot to learn about this game. So uh, let's not waste any more time and let's just quickly finish this. So now that you've got a couple stone, you don't need that much. Just have at least three. I'm going to bring it back to this crafting table and I'm going to put in my two last sticks and I'm going to make a stone pickaxe. I'm also going to make a stone axe so let's make a couple more sticks and I'm gonna make an axe this is the recipe for the axe and this is the recipe for the stone pickaxe let's just make sure we don't make another stone pickaxe and also if you didn't know this green book here shows you a lot of recipes so you don't have to figure them out yourself like let's say you want a shovel boom shovel you want a wooden axe boom a hoe you want a hoe there you go and there's a bunch more crafting recipes here and as you go on you will soon get more recipes depending on what items you unlock but now I'm gonna start breaking this crafting table and let's find ourselves some sheep some sheep you might ask yes some sheep we need a bed before we continue because even though yes maybe getting iron would be a very good idea I do not want to wait an entire night to get iron so I'm gonna find a sheep real quick now this is a terrible spot to find sheep usually they spawn in open plain areas as you can see this kind of looks like a plain but this is really a forest because there's a lot of trees but usually there are planes connected to this area so let's go find one I believe if we are correct this should be maybe a planes over here or no okay th there's no planes but it's okay we can keep looking eventually we will find something and you might be thinking well how come you're telling us all this stuff we probably already know it and yes you probably do know how to get a pickaxe how to get stone how to get an axe 
but this is for everyone this is for all the beginners in the future once we've got through all the stuff i won't have to explain all this anymore and you should be pro but anyway let's continue our search for some sheep as you can see this is our first suspect or oh, two suspects as you can see these are cows i'm gonna kill these because you know we will need something to eat and especially because we're on hard mode we do not want to waste our hunger to kill something you'd want to break the block by left clicking but did you know if you have a weapon you can actually jump and hit it and it uses a critical hit which kills it with way more damage so let's pick up all this stuff we got one leather and one raw beef i'm gonna kill these other cows and we will Continue looking for that sheep. Well, well, well. Here it is. The majestic sheep. Two, in fact. Three, in fact. That's exactly what we need. You know you found a sheep when you see a big white ball. So, see ya. Now, to make a bed, you will need three sheep. Now, obviously, if you had, like, a looting sword, which is another enchantment, you won't need to kill three sheep all the time, as they may drop more wool. But as you can see, they've only dropped one for each. So let's kill this one last one. And there we go. We have three wool. Now I'm going to place down my crafting table again. I'm going to put three planks into my inventory. And I'm going to put these other three wool on top of them. And as you can see, we've got a white bed. Now if you happen to run into, let's say, two white sheep and then one brown sheep. Now you might be worried because when you put it in the inventory, it's not going to work as one of them is a different color but did you know if you just harvest a couple of these flowers let's say let's get three of those you could just harvest these you could put them in the crafting table and turn them into yellow dye which then you'd add to the wool and it would change the color as you see we didn't need that because we had three wool now we have our bed we can begin looking for iron if you don't know what iron is iron is basically the next material that we will need as it's a lot stronger and durable than stone and it's really the first piece of armor you'll need which you will need all of it because you do not want to die now to find iron it's not that hard you just have to find a, a cave and caves aren't that hard to find either I could really just dig down but let's just try to find some sort of land cave or maybe a cave in a mountain any sort will do I just realized we've come back into a circle. This is the first six pieces of cobble I mined. And we are back in a circle. So let's head this way. As you can see, I believe this is our first cave we've found. You know you found a cave when it kind of just digs into the ground. And let's go look for some iron. Now it might be dark, but as you can see, this is iron. You can tell it's iron because it's got that kind of beige white color. And to mine it, use a stone pickaxe or iron or higher than that because wooden will not drop iron so mine the stone mine the iron and as you see you've got one two three four five six seven eight and nine that's a pretty good amount for one vein and let's go continue to look for some more but as you can see we did look for iron for way too long and now the sun is set and it's night time so now let's place our bed somewhere and right click it and we will get the advancement sweet dreams and we will finally go to sleep now you might be wondering what's gonna happen if i don't go to sleep well these things will spawn skeletons zombies creepers as you can see this is the only mob i've found but if you wait too long more will spawn and you will die but let's continue looking for iron as you can see we have found our next ore this is not an ore we can use to craft weapons but this is coal now when you mine it it drops the actual item coal let's just mine a couple of these we will need this to smelt our iron and make it into usable minerals to make our armor our sword our pickaxe and other items now as you can see that is it for all the iron and the coal in these caves but don't fear there's obviously more somewhere let's just go find it here's another cave as you can see this is our first mob actually it's our second but it's the first one that wants to eat me now because this is a zombie 
and they are pretty dumb. They will walk into the sunlight and start dying. As you can see, once they're on fire, they will start dying. But to stop a zombie from trying to kill you, just hit it with left click as if you're trying to break a block and it will die eventually. Now I do recommend using an axe when starting out instead of using a sword because they do do a lot more damage but they do attack a lot slower. But this, but an axe is usually better for just, you know, one mob hits, you know, like whenever there's just one mob out in the open, just like there was one in here. But as you can see, we've only found coal, there's no iron, so let's just continue looking for some more. Now as you can see, there's also some pigs here, which is another source of food, which I'm just gonna kill a couple, you know, why not? I have been running a little, so we will need to eat some food soon. I might just mine down one more tree, just because, you know, why not? Let's just get all that extra wood in case we will need it, which we probably will. But as you can see, well, 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 what did I say? It's a plains, or at least it looks like one. It's kind of covered by a birch forest, and this is also a cave, but... Okay, let, let, let's not go that way. Now, why am I not going that way? Well, we do not want to die yet. We do not have a shield. That is like one of the main things we should get because, well, even though armor is great, a shield can protect an explosion. And that's literally all I have to say. Come on. It can protect an explosion. What else do you need? We need to get a shield soon. But here we are on a plains biome. I'm not sure if we should set up a base here, but first I want to look for some more iron and then we'll start thinking about where we want to live. Now, always look in these holes because sometimes there will be a cave like I believe this is one. There we are. And look, more iron. Now just always beware, there may be mobs lurking around. Just go mine this iron real quick. And it should mine right up. Now something I suggest you do is make a couple torches. This will make your life in caves a lot easier. So what we're going to do, let's get some sticks and let's get some coal. And let's go, we've got eight torches. Now I've got Optifine, like I said before, so it actually lights up the area I'm in, but probably for you, if you don't have Optifine, it's not gonna do this, but if you want to, just place it on the wall, and the light will stay in that area. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click F to put this in my offhand, so I can continue to see, but you should just continue to put torches on the walls, so you can always see where to go. As you can see, this is actually a pretty nice cave. We've got one of these big holes. I'm not sure what these are for, but as you can see, there's some iron here. Let's go mine that up. There's some iron over here too. And as you can see, we've already got 28 iron. Now, if you didn't know, we only need 24 to make full iron armor. So we can already make that. But I want to get a couple extra to make a pickaxe, to make a sword, to make an axe, and a shield. Now, I believe there was, yeah, just two more up here. Let's just go mine that out. There's actually a couple more up there. Let's build up. Now, I don't know, have we even built anything yet? I'm not sure. But if you did, didn't did know, you would right-click to place down a block. Let's just right-click two more. And then we can start mining this up. And then, as wow, there's actually a lot up here. I thought there was only going to be two. But as you can see, just mine up every resource you need. You don't need to mine all of it. There's always more around the world. But as you can see, now we're done with that. We can go back to the top and start making stuff. I'm just going to mine 16 iron, actually. Well, that's 18, but... Uh, not iron, but, you know, cobble. Because we need that to start making furnaces and start making iron. So I think for the meantime, I'm just going to start a little base around here. Maybe right here. Let's place down a crafting table. And inside here, I'm going to place down my cobble. Now, you might have seen me being placing stuff around, like... You could be confused how I'm doing that. Basically, the way I do that, left click places down like multiples, so it would fill up all the slots with it. So as you see, that's what we do to get two furnaces, but then if I right click, it places one in every slot. So what I recommend you do, especially for this, just use left click and then put it around, and that will make a furnace, or you could search up furnace here, and then do that or you could shift click and that would put in two but we don't have that because we used all our stone already now i'm going to place down these two furnaces and i'm going to split up the coal which you do with right click and that will split up the coal i'm going to put 12 in here and 11 in here because we don't have an equal amount i'm also going to do that to the iron ore 
Now I'm going to put 17 in here and 18 in there. And now we've got our iron smelting. Now just know this will take a couple minutes, uh, maybe depending on how much you have. If you only have a little amount, it's going to be a tiny bit. But as you can see, we've already got an iron ingot in each of these. And the reason I've made two furnaces instead of one. Whoa. But anyway, shush for a bit. The reason I've got two is because it obviously speeds up the process. We've got two of these machines. Going. Okay, could you, could you shush? But anyway, now we can talk about wandering traders. Now these huh? annoying people, they try to sell you stuff. As you can see, we let, let's uh, click on them. Oh. And vines, lily of the valley, mushroom, magenta oh. dye, red tulip, and tropical fish. Now I'm just gonna walk away a bit uh -huh. so that they stop being annoying. But I don't really know why Mojang added these to the game. And as you see, they're trying to follow me. But they try to sell you stuff but for ridiculous prices and the stuff isn't even worth buying. So usually what I would do is kill them, which I am going to do. I'm just going to quickly make a shield in case something goes bad because llamas do spit at you if you do not be careful. But this is how to make a shield. It's basically six wood and one iron ingot. And what we can do, you know how I clicked F before? Do that again. And now when we right click, it puts our shield up. So now what we can do. And see, they try to spit at you. So what you want to do. Just like, be careful. Just, be, just try to kill them. See, as you can see, they are going to hurt you. Just, just kill them if you want to. You don't have to kill them. But I'm going to kill them because we get leads. Now, obviously, you could also make leads. But, you know, free leads. Who actually makes them? They require slime balls, which... Are not easy to get early game and yeah we've got ourselves some leads so anyway it's about time to go back to sleep Bruh. actually we can't sleep yet just just wait for the Sun to go down we can actually just watch it setting as you can see it's beautiful now also if you didn't notice what these things are these advancements they're basically just achievements showing that you just unlocked a certain step in the game as you see stone age that means Mine stone with your new pickaxe, getting an upgrade, construct a better pickaxe, sweet dreams, go to bed, monster hunter, kill a monster, which was the zombie, acquire hardware is iron ingots, and not today thank you is actually, it's not a new one, but it's one that wasn't in the game a long time ago, and that's basically to block an attack with your shield, which if you don't know, it looks like this when you actually use it. Now, we have smelted all our iron, which is great. What we can do now, I'm going to start making iron armor. So as you can see, if you want to know, because there's a lot of recipes for this, you could just click them here. But what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put them in. This is a helmet. Now this is pants. I don't know why I'm doing pants, but we've got chest plate as well, which chest plate takes quite a bit. Then we've got boots. And that's basically all for armor. Then you can shift click or put it in your inventory. As you can see, I'm just going to do that just to show you. And as you see, boom, 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 boom. We've got full iron armor. And as you can see, these things will stop working after a while. But I'm just going to start cooking food in here too. Just why not? We will need it eventually. We are running low on hunger, as you can see. But what are we going to do with this spare iron? Well, obviously, we're going to turn it into tools. Now, first off, obviously, let's make an iron pickaxe. And number two... Let's make a sword. Now, how I said axe before, I don't think we will need an axe for a while now because we are pretty set now. We've got a shield, we've got full iron armor. We're pretty good at taking these attacks down because as you can see, like I was saying, look how long it takes the, the axe to go back up. Look, it, it takes like two seconds. Look at the sword. Boom. Boom. So it's a lot faster. That's why you should use a sword if you are knowing what you're doing. As you can see, our food has actually finished. Um, I'm just going to cook these pork chops too. But now, we can actually begin setting up a base. Now, I heard a skeleton. There might be one down there. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. Oh, oh I, can, I can hear it. It's definitely down there. But I don't, I don't know if we should. I, I'm not going to right now. But anyway, let's begin building a base. So what I'm going to quickly do, 
I'm just gonna go mine some trees. I don't know which ones I'll use. I have a variety of trees. We've got spruce, we've got oak, we've got birch, we've got a bunch. So what I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna grab a couple birch for the floors. I'm probably gonna grab some oak for the walls and then I'm gonna use spruce for like the details. Now obviously you can do whatever you want but for my example, I'm just going to try to make a pretty nice house because we are turning this into a series. I would like it to look aesthetically pleasing, whatever you'd call it. But anyway, yeah, that, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to make a pretty nice looking house. You can say what you want about it. It's probably not going to be that nice. But still, let's just build something and hope that we can work with it. Now, if you didn't know, if you are low on hunger, you can also kill fish. Now, this is a new feature in the game. There used to not be fish in the ocean that you could, like, just kill. You used to have to use a fishing rod, but now you could actually just hit them. Boom! And that's free food right there. Raw salmon. And there, we would put it in the furnace and then use it like normal food like this steak. Now, if you want to know how to eat, let's actually eat our first food. We are, as you can see, low on hunger. We have four and a half hunger points missing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to right click. And there we go, we ate it. It's a bit annoying because we are still low on hunger, as you can see right there. We are missing one. But anyway, now let's just continue getting some more trees. Now, that was a sound you don't want to hear. Now, fortunately, that was just a stone axe. We have plenty of iron to make a, a new iron axe. But basically, when you hear that sound and your tool disappears, that means your durability is gone. Now, what is durability? Durability is the line under your pickaxe. Now, obviously, I have got a sort of stat that shows exactly how much I have. As you can see, for this wooden pickaxe, it's 53, and it's if it was full, it was 59. As you can see, the stone pickaxe is 51 out of 131, and these tools have not been used. Now, if you want to know how to turn it on, it's F3H. So now I've clicked that, and it's disappeared now. You can still see the line, but you can't see the thing. If we do F3 and H again, it'll show advanced tool tips shown, and now we can actually see it. So always just keep an eye on your tools to make sure they don't break, especially if they're special and enchanted. But that's basically what I wanted to say about tools. But I think we've got enough wood for the house. I'm not sure we might get some more, but you know, there's going to be just a little starter house. It doesn't really matter to me how good it looks, as long as it looks pretty nice. Now also, just remember not to wander too far. As you can see, we're in a pretty good spot because it is just plains and then we're surrounded by trees. But as you can see, if we were to like run over there and then go behind the trees and do all that, we might end up losing our house, which that is a really big beginner mistake, which you do not want to lose it uh, because, well, you might have some precious items there and also it's annoying because you have to start again, you have to get a new bed, you have to get a new crafting table, new furnaces, and it's just not a good idea, so try not to lose your base, don't wander that far, and if you do, just bring your stuff. But now, I'm going to start building this house, so I'm just going to lay out the foundations, or, I don't know, yeah, I'm going to call it foundations, so this is going to be like the corners, it's going to be made out of spruce logs, now let's move over, I don't know, like, maybe because this is four five six seven eight eight yeah that looks good that all lines up it's nearly night time again that is very confusing but as you can see that that's all good i think i'm gonna make this an eight by eight or oh, wait one two three four five six seven eight nine ten all okay, right ten by ten so we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and we build up here as well and then we're going to do the same thing. We just line up with this part. And because this is actually a level lower, let's go up four. But as you can see, that is the foundations. Now, let's just go to sleep before things get scary. I'm just going to quickly build this house, you know. Let's not make this take too long. 
I'm gonna put in the planks it's gonna be pretty simple if you don't know exactly how to make planks any type of wood when you put it into the crafting table will turn into planks or like let's say birch that will turn into planks too so just be careful don't turn all your wood into planks unless you need to now I should actually be careful here because as you can see there's a really big hole just there I, I could easily just fall and die I don't know why I haven't addressed that yet but um, yeah we should cover this up I'm gonna put in the floor real quick so that we don't end up falling and dying I'm also just gonna make a shovel which if you don't know how to make that it's just one iron ingot or diamond or whatever and we'll put in that iron shovel boom let's go And as you can see, because this is an 8x8 floor, that did take up exactly one stack, which is pretty cool. But as you see, we've got in the floor. And now, I've got a little bit of a problem. Because as you can see, we don't have enough wood. I can't, I can't get more wood, you know, there's no wood here. Now what I'm actually going to do, I'm just going to quickly fill up this hole so we don't fall in it. I'm also going to like, level this out so like it kind of works better. As you can see. Just like, you know, make it seem more natural when it's like not floating. And yeah, I think I think that's that's all good. Just connect it there, you know, do a little terraforming, whatever they call it. And that okay, we ran out of dirt again. But let's just break this dirt one here. And boom! There we go. We've got we've got basically the entire house. Now I'm just gonna also make an axe. We haven't made one yet. Or at least an iron axe, which let's make one. There we go. And now I'm just gonna break down maybe this part here. I'm gonna like because we've got some spare spruce logs. I'm just gonna use this, and there we go. That's what we're gonna do. And then I'm gonna do that. And uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I don't know. Maybe do we want to put in windows? I'm gonna like put placeholders here for windows and it doesn't look that good doesn't it but anyway i'm just gonna make a door real quick and i'm gonna use a birch door because they don't look that bad and it, it's kind of cool there we go boom i'm also just gonna change the block under here as you can see the actual door broke because some items need blocks under them well this isn't a gravity block but this just requires you have an item and this is not the right way to put the door in there we go let's uh let's turn this into slabs as you can see there we go so i got 42 slabs this is not enough definitely but let's also turn this rest part into it and yeah let's do that so now i'm just gonna fill in the top with one layer of just completely flat slabs i'm also just gonna like fill the outside first so it like looks good and then i'll do like one layer on the inside or not because we're gonna run out as you can see but uh, I'll, I'll do what I can I'll just do this and boom we do not have enough for the rest of the house um, I'm just gonna break a couple more trees that are right there and we will have this house finished in no time and also cool little uh, fun fact if we can actually do this properly beds like make like kind of bouncy actually like you can't tell really but they can break your fall a bit, so if you can and you don't have water nearby and you're gonna fall from really high, maybe jump onto a bed, it does work. And there we go. Now, you might be thinking, this is a little funky, how come this house is very dark? Just put in some windows, maybe some torches like we're gonna do, because if you do not put torches, mobs will spawn and it's not going to be a very fun time there we go that's basically the house i will eventually put windows in here but we can get into that in the next episode and meaning the next episode i mean this is going to be the end of the video it's getting pretty long i've been recording for like 40 minutes now but i hope you have a clear understanding of how to start a minecraft world and how to get iron ore and how to make iron armor and how to make a, a pretty bad house but it, it, it'll work but anyway, that's about it. Thanks for watching. And if you did like the video, it did take me quite a while to make this and uh, do all this 
s editing and stuff. So if you did enjoy, make sure to click the like button, subscribe to the channel maybe if you want to, if you want to see more content like this. This is going to be a series like I said in the start. So make sure you actually subscribe to the channel so you get to see the next episode, the next one, and the next one. Hopefully if there is a next one, there will be though. So that's about it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. <laughs>